What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. And what we're going to do is dive into the film session of Demarcus Lawrence, D-Law, Face the Law, man. And if you watched our pregame show on Monday night, I specifically said I expect a big game from Demarcus Lawrence where he jumps off the screen. And that's exactly what D-Law did on Monday night. In this formation, I like to call it Mr. Nasty time. And why do I call it Mr. Nasty time? Because you're seeing Dan Quinn just get nasty. What you're seeing right now is Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons lined up on the same, 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 same right? And it's really going to force the offensive linemen to shift. But most import importantly, you got to pick your poison, right? You got to pick your poison because they both coming. You got D-Law standing up. You got Micah Parsons standing up and they just coming. And they're going to force Daniel Jones to get that ball out of his hands quickly. And you see Saquon Barkley with the drop. But that pressure is coming. Right. And so it shows the versatility of Demarcus Lawrence, because I know back in 2020 under Mike Nolan, a lot of people didn't like D-Law standing up. But you got to understand when he was at Boise, he stood up as well. So there's a lot of different things that D-Law can do. And Dan Quinn is using this veteran weapon to his full capacity. Right. And the thing I noticed the most when it comes to D-Law, which makes him an incredible pass rusher, is hands, right? If you play on the defensive line here, play linebacker, hand placements, hand placement, hand placement, to be able to be quick with your hands and keep offensive linemen's hands off you is critical to be a pass rusher, right? You know, even when I played football linebacker, they even brought in a guy, he did some karate, you know what I'm saying? He was like a, a black belt. And he was teaching us all these different hand moves just to help us keep the offensive lineman's hands off of us. Quick, quick pressure. Daniel Jones with the throw. Daniel Jones had a rough day. You know, Daniel Jones, he wasn't having it, bro. With that pressure that was coming for our defensive line, he just wasn't having it. So he was getting the ball out of his hands. On this next play, once again, it's the versatility to Marcus Lawrence. This time, he's going to put his hand in the dirt. And poor Evan Neal, man. This is this is just welcome to the NFL, rookie. Welcome to the NFL. Welcome to the NFL, right? <laughs> That's purely what that is. It's the Marcus Lawrence welcoming that rookie, and Evan Neal, to the NFL. You know, he's going to line up here. Once again, hands. Y'all see the hands? Hands. Get those hands off me right here. You're going to slap that hand with the right hand. Get them off. Get low. Bend in and close in for the sack, you know, and that, and that, and that, you know what I'm saying? That, and that was pretty much disrespect, disrespectful for the New York Giants to put a rookie in Evan Neal one-on-one -on -one with the veteran pass rusher of Demarcus Lawrence with no help. And he got cooked and he paid the price for it. Now this play here, if you go back to our pregame show, I said Demarcus Lawrence does a lot of things. But if you're not a film guy or girl, it, it isn't going to stand out, right? And here is one of the plays where Marcus Lawrence does this constantly, but he really don't get no credit from the fans' point of view, right? But this is a play. Once again, he is standing up. He's going to shift from the outside. He's going to shift from the inside. But he's going to scrape right down the line of scrimmage and stop the run for Saquon Barkley. So these plays, they don't show up in the stat sheets. You don't get highlight films pretty much from these types of plays. But this shows what Demarcus Lawrence brings to the Dallas Cowboys defense day in and day out. Scrape, 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 scrape. Get the inside leverage. Continues to scrape. Continue to scrape down the line of scrimmage. He's fighting, battling, and gets off for the tackle. Love it, love it, love it from D-Law, man. This next play here, it's just more outstanding effort from Demarcus Lawrence. Like I said, Demarcus Lawrence had a hell of a day. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, at JTuck151, I said, man, Daniel Jones, he was just taking off. He started playing Madden after a little bit. You know what? Hut, hut, hike. I'm just going to take off and run because of the pressure that was coming. Now, this is probably a draw play that, that was developed, but still... Daniel Jones was trying to get the hell up out of there, and rightfully so. But what you see is D-Law once again pursuing Daniel Jones, getting off that block to be able to make that tackle. Right? Effort. Effort, effort, effort. Once again, Demarcus Lawrence. Boom, he's engaged. He sees D 
safety, Daniel Jones, go ahead and take off. He says, nah, let me hit, put my foot in the dirt, get back upfield, and make that play. Great effort. Great effort right there from D-Law. And this next play, right? Once again, you got him lined up outside Evan Neal. Now, you got a tight end on that side, but this tight end ain't going to give Evan Neal no help, bruh. He barely taps him. <laughs> And once again, Evan Neal gets cooked by the veteran guy. You know, this, this tight end right here, I think that's Bellinger. I think he's a rookie as well. You got two rookies lined up on Demarcus Lawrence. Comes out, give him a little love tap. That ain't, ain't going to help. That's not going to help. That little love tap ain't going to help, man. If you're going to chip, you're going to have to chip this guy. And Evan Neal, once again, you see the bend. You see their inside rip move. The hand placement of Demarcus Lawrence. He gets underneath. He bends. He closes in on Daniel Jones for another one. And this last play right here, man, this is one of my favorite plays from Demarcus Lawrence. Like I said, Demarcus Lawrence had one hell of a day. And once again, you're going to see the effort. Boom, comes off screen, recognizes it, almost, almost gets his hands on it, right? Almost gets his hands on it. It's kind of being held, though. It looked like a little hole to me, right? Almost gets his hands on it, but instead of pouting, instead of, you know what, I'm a veteran, it's, it's good, you know, it's a screen, I made the read, I got Micah Parsons and some of these young guys out there, Osa Diggy Zua, they're going to make the play? Nah, Demarcus Lawrence starts hauling up field, hauling, hauling, hauling up field to make the tackle. Incredible play by Demarcus Lawrence once again. Boom. Held, held. Held what recognizes the screen, he plants and it ain't over. Saquon ain't breaking, Saquon ain't breaking, man. Gets upfield, makes a tackle, man. So that's it for Demarcus Lawrence. Incredible day, man. Great Monday night, and hopefully, he's able to build that momentum into Sunday. Because, like I said, he is our veteran guy, he is our big money guy. He needs to step up and have games that he jumps off the screen. And this was definitely one of those games. Salute to D-Law. He had three sacks, three solos, seven pressures. He was everywhere. I know he had the foot injury, but it sounds like he's going to be good to go for Sunday versus the Commanders. It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. And of course... Hit that subscribe button, hit that like, hit that share to get the information out. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and go Cowboys. Peace.